In this video, I continue presentation rethinking of aging. It is part four about NAD plus boosters, and we will talk about safety of these uh, supplements and also how to use them. So, the, as always, I recommend you to download the presentation as PDF file from the link in the description. Then you, will, you can go. You can get access to links uh, of the uh, of the source of information and to the links in the presentation. Make your own research. Please mind that I am not medical professional, so I am not supposed to give you any medical advice. What I I do this research for my own rejuvenation. I am a professional scientist with PhD in physics and mathematics, but biology always was my obsession. So I, I do this research and I believe that I have already some ideas and findings to extend the uh, uh, longevity of humans to 2,000 years or maybe to infinity. Okay, so let's go. The presentation of nicotinamide adenine uh, dinucleotide uh, DNA plus and at ATP, it's uh, energy molecules, decreases with age. Supplementing with nicotinamide mononucleotide, MNN, uh, has been shown to enhance energy metabolism and, and physical activity in older adults. Adult, adult, NAD plus also works like antioxidant uh, that can eff effectively scavenge uh, reactive oxygen species and reduce oxidative stress in cells. David Sinclair, he is 54 years old, from Harvard University advocates for low dose N -N 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 intake to promote healthy aging. However, NMN may increase protein synthesis in cancerous and senescent cells, which rely on glycolysis for energy production, and long term NMN consumption may increase chronic inflammation and oxidative stress increase the risk of cancer and shorten life expectancy, particularly in people who consume a diet high in carbohydrates. Therefore, this FDA has restricted the use of NMN as a dietary supplement. So be careful about recommendation of David Sinclair. Nothing what he proposed is confirmed by other independent researchers. Okay, so we see that ATP production, energy production in uh, cells is dropping. So obviously it is because uh, of not efficient in, uh, oxygen supply to cells, but okay, but whatever, it drops. And NAD uh, plus uh, production also dropping uh, uh, radically and to the age of 80, it's energy production in cells and a production of this NAD uh, is uh, very low. NMN is not chemically stable in conditions of high humidity and quickly degrades to nicotinamide uh, and instead of nicotine uh, mononucleotide, other forms of vitamin B3 can be used such as nicotinic acid, uh, other name ni niacin or NA, uh, nicotinamide, nicotinamide NAM and uh, nicotinamide riboside NA. Uh, nicotinamide riboside supplementation supports healthy aging by rejuvenating the, the he hematopoietic system. This is stem cells to produce blood cells. Uh, after a week of NR administration, uh, autophagy and mitophagy were elevated in wild uh, type mice, resulting in an increased number of hematopoietic stem cells in the bone marrow and a notable in, uh, uh, increase in circulating immune cells. So it is, it is working. So in both mice and humans, NRA, uh, nicotinamide riboside, has a higher oral bio bioavailability than NAM and NRA, but on the other hand, NR is very unstable in the blood. So again, also chemically unstable. Uh, okay, so you see that this slide that N, uh, nicotine uh, amide riboside degrades to NAM very quickly, and uh, so it is a question of hour. It, it, it is reducing, uh, it is reduced to more than 
two times uh, concentration and also it is it degrades in, in liver so it is not uh, see it so nicotine amide riboside is not getting to cells as um, this nicotine amide riboside but get as nicotine amide okay so sirtuins signaling pro proteins involved in metabolic regulations require elevated NAD plus levels to enhance their activity. In our body, NAD plus is produced by the synthesis from L tryptophan and also there are cell, cell, cellage pathways to produce NAD plus from its precursors uh, nicotine, uh, niacin, nicotinamide and nicotinamide riboside. Okay. So, uh, we can go to this. So you see that naturally it is produced from uh, tryptophan, but it can be if you supply your uh, your body with uh, use a supplement nicotine uh, nicotine uh, nicotine nicotine acid and niacin and nicotine amine or nicotine amine riboside. It's all can work to increase uh, production of NAD plus. Okay, so uh, as uh, uh, this uh, nicotinamide riboside is metabolized to NAM in the liver and has low bioavailability in other tissues. So it is again, no, it has no sense to buy uh, expensive nicotinamide riboside because it is so much unstable chemically and unstable in our body, in our tissues. And so it is again. But uh, therefore, to increase production of NAD+, plus, it is better to use nicotine amine uh, instead of uh, nicotine amine riboside. Okay, this again cheaper and more natural. If it is anyway uh, get um, get uh, uh, that's, uh, uh, get uh, chemically uh, to NAM, uh, that's why to use N N nicotinamide riboside. NAM and NAA uh, build NAD plus through independent uh, enzymic pathways. Okay, we go again, you see that NA, if it is used as supplement, and uh, NAM, uh, again, it, it is uh, increasing production of nicotinamide uh, and NAD plus independently. Okay, so independently. This is actually not working because chemical and stable, but this and this. So we have two substances, uh, two, uh, two uh, substances which are uh, vitamin B3 to increase production of NAD+. Plus. So uh, uh, therefore, uh, so th therefore, uh, 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 therefore, the, when NAAM and A are in administrated together, Together, high doses of NAM does not prevent NA from increasing liver and AD plus levels further. So it's again better combine it and uh, in equal doses uh, uh, to use this combination. Combining NA plus NAM have been found to boost metabolism more effectively than is uh, any uh, vitamin B3 supplement taken alone. So it is again because it is. Uh, different pathways so whatever you use uh, uh, NMN or uh, uh, nicotinamine riboside or uh, uh, alone uh, or NAM alone or uh, nicotinic acid alone combination works much better okay so uh, an advantage of nicotine uh, niacin, nicotinic acid over NMN and NA is that uh, nicotine amine, oh pardon, nicotinic acid uh, dilates um, blood capillaries, uh, improving oxygen delivery to tissues and therefore enhancing energy production in macrophages, in immune cells, which is again important for our um, body. Studies in animals show that uh, niacin supplementation increases lean body mass and reduces, uh, reduces uh, abdominal fat in geese and chickens. Additionally, uh, niacin uh, in high doses have been shown to inhibit 
atherosclerosis progression in mice. It enhances uh, bile production in humans, promoting the excretion of uh, phytosterols and toxins. So hepatotoxicity, so liver cell damage, has been observed at intake of nicotine of niacin as low as 750 mg per day. This is again you have to mind that it, it, it is uh, important, but again that you have to be very careful about niacin. Niacin and other other uh, other variants of uh, the vitamin B3, they all uh, uh, hepatotoxic. So to avoid hepatotoxicity, NA and NAM, so niacin and nicotinamide, have to be combined with betaine and choline uh, supplement. At least uh, betaine and choline, you have to, to use it twice as large doses of combined uh, supplementation of niacin with nicotinamide. Twice beta. For details, watch my old video 8 and the read presentation. This is old, a very old video, but it's all, all right. Some of my male clients reported that intake of niacin, uh, of niacin increased uh, growth of, of thick and dark terminal hairs on the brows, ears, and inside the nose thrills. I believe that this phenomenon may be related to increased production of NAD plus in senescent cells and accelerated aging. So you know that uh, there's such phenomenon that when people are aging, they, uh, this uh, terminal hair grow on, um, on brows, ears, and inside the nostrils. So uh, I answered then, okay, you have to be very careful and use uh, niacin only uh, uh, it's, uh, in combination with synalytics or blockers of, uh, of hydrolysis and hyper hyperactive cells. So, so again, uh, such side effects like accelerated aging uh, can be avoided by combining nicotine, niacin and uh, niacinamide with blockers of glycolysis and hyperactive cells such as ascorbic acid and melatonin, and also following a strict ketogenic diet and uh, intermittently consuming senolytics. So you see, you have to be very careful. What uh, David Sinkowitz proposed uh, to use NMN, it actually leads to accelerated aging, to risk of uh, cancer development, etc. So it is not, it is, again, you have to be very careful. But if you combine, uh, it's also niacin and nicotinamide is more reasonable, it is cheap and you will not uh, spend too much money on it anyway. This, uh, NMN is unstable, it degrades, so why to, to spend money on uh, and something what uh, this uh, Sinclair is proposed. Uh, Sinclair is, again, uh, nothing what he pr is proposing confirmed by independent, uh, independent um, researchers. So he claims that uh, NMN is anti-aging uh, supplement, but it's, if it is taken alone, it, is, it accelerates aging mind that it, it, it accelerates aging so you have to be careful and have to combine this vitamin b3 with uh, blockers of hydrolysis uh, or glycolysis and also uh, with uh, intermittent intake of senolytics so as it is known that ascorbic acid in mega doses reduces blood glucose and may reduce the risk of cancer development and levels of chronic inflammation by suppressing glycolysis in hyperactive cells. Also, physitin and some antibiotics may be used together with uh, ascorbic acid as synolytics, and I discuss it in my videos 9 and presentation, and you can go and uh, check it. So again, uh, it is very powerful tool, uh, I, uh, it's very important, but you have to be very careful about this, how to use it. Combination of uh, niacin and ascorbic acid have been promoted by Andrew uh, Saul, uh, who advoc advocated for high doses of these vitamins alongside with vegetarian diet on his website, YouTube channel, and his books, Doctor Yourself and Fire, Fire You Doctor. And he suggested that mega doses of uh, ascorbic acid and niacin, niacin could prevent the growth of tumors, reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease, and improve health. Yes, true, but 
what is problem? Uh, Dr. Andrew Saul uh, passed away recently at age of 69. Probably this fact may indicate that a vegetarian diet and the use of carbohydrates as main source of energy reduce the benefits of uh, niacin, uh, of niacin and ascorbic acid supplementation. Okay, you see, if you will not do it properly, so uh, following uh, ketogenic diet is absolutely necessary in old age. So it's again, uh, you look at him, he in age of 69, he looks good, but you see the result. And I don't know, maybe it is related somehow to vaccination because he was thinking that this combination of niacin uh, and ascorbic acid can, can cure everything, but if the if you use um, carbohydrate uh, as the main source of energy, then vaccine is uh, then you destroy your glycolic glycolic layer and and on endothelium layer inside your blood vessels, and then you will get thrombosis and you will die. So many people who follow uh, diet uh, full of this carbohydrate. They, they passed away, so you be careful again. That's, uh, he, he was thinking it is working for everything, not, not with, um, in combination with the vegetarian diet, not to mention the vegetarian diet is full of toxins. So, again, I believe that again this was a mistake, we have to be very careful about this. So also uh, the ability of niacin, uh, of niacin to reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease comes with a price. It is increased the risk of developing diabetes, 34% increased risk in, in people who are consuming carbohydrates. Again, so you consume, uh, if you take niacinamide, uh, uh, pardon, niacinamide or niacin and with uh, or without ascorbic acid, you you are at, at the risk of developing of this cardiovascular disease, uh, or uh, you, you are at the risk of uh, develop diabetes. So I will talk about this a little bit later because it's again, you have to be very careful about what we are doing. And people, uh, so this is Linus Pauling, he age of 93, again, he was not doing, <laughs> he, he is a genius, complete genius, uh, but in his uh, time, in his time, these uh, people were not following uh, the ketogenic diet. It was not uh, much information about this. He was uh, following like uh, med med Mediterranean diet, and again, it is not healthy. So we rely we're relying in old age on carbohydrates is absolutely uh, disastrous. Okay. So what is happening if you take? Uh, Ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid may block consumption of uh, 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 block glucose transporters, so the uh, malignant cells they uh, rely on glycolysis, so they, they they cannot get enough glucose to the cells, and also when it, uh, this oxide oxidi oxidation of ascorbic acid uh, turns it, it into dehydroascorbic acid and it, it goes through the, uh, the, this uh, glucose transport port and then uh, inside the cell it, it, uh, it is converted back uh, by, uh, to ascorbic acid so it, it works as pro-oxidant and if it is uh, cells um, uh, hyperactive like cancer cells and essence cells then uh, this ascorbic acid in high doses, mega doses may de, uh, may uh, lead to destruction of the uh, these malignant cells, uh, senescent cells and cancer cells, especially if it is combined with physicine and also if it is combined with some antibiotics, I was talking about this. Okay, a little bit, uh, I will talk more about this, uh, how, why uh, niacin works so interesting and why is the danger, there is a danger of uh, diabetes development uh, in some people who use uh, carbohydrates as main uh, as source of energy. It is so, okay. What is interesting, intake of niacin, especially in large doses, so you see it is intake of niacin is here, and what is happening, niacin is blocking uh, 
lipolysis is, is blocking uh, release of uh, free fatty acids from uh, your adipose tissue. It is blocking for a while. So you see concentration of free fatty acids uh, suppressed. It is this pot is for people who use uh, mostly uh, carbohydrates uh, as a source of energy. So it is, this drop is not so big. If you are in ketosis, it's even bigger. And especially uh, what I will talk later on, if you combine this uh, with uh, some aerobic exercise or sauna, for example, sauna also works because it is high stress and um, more energy consumed in sauna. Then what is happening? This drop in of, car of the free fatty acids is very big and it is lasting about two hours, maybe a little bit longer. But then, then after two, three hours, what is happening? Then uh, this uh, uh, lipolysis uh, production of free fatty acids in adipose tissues is increasing tremendously increasing a lot and what what is uh, making so you actually you forcing your body to into uh, into deeper ketosis and if you already was in ketosis it is very beneficial for you because you now now you your body rely relate uh, relate uh, on consumption of uh, fat you're burning fat very efficiently and also you uh, for for this time especially if you are in sauna or doing aerobic exercises, then there, there, there is very little amount of uh, glucose in, uh, in your blood. So concentration of glucose is very low because it is all consumed. And all then senescent cells and the cancer cells are eliminated. They are starving. They cannot uh, uh, be without glucose. So it is again... This combination of uh, niacin with, uh, especially with ascorbic acid, and uh, combination with sauna and or aerobic exercise works is perfect uh, uh, synalytic, perfect synalytic. Or you, you probably can improve it is even better if you combine it with some supplementation with physitin. Uh, wow, well, okay, that's again, this is... Uh, it is not uh, much uh, investigated, so I cannot rely on any scientific publications. This is what I think on it, but, but what is interesting, again, if people use uh, carbohydrates uh, for energy production, then what is, uh, what is happening? Then it is not, uh, the, then uh, concentration of carbohydrates uh, is very low, yeah, very low. And the concentration of, uh, but concentration of carbohydrates during this time is very high. And this, this increase of carbohydrates in um, blood may lead to insulin resistance and also destroys your body, destroys your epithelium way, endothelium way in your blood system. So this why it is so problematic for to combine uh, uh, intake of uh, the niacin with uh, following or vegetarian or diet or any diet which is uh, that use uh, carbohydrates as source of energy. Sorry about this guy, he, I, I love him, but again, he, he made so big mistake and the, he paid very uh, dearly for this mistake, so he passed away just recently. Not use uh, niacin if you follow standard diet or vegetarian diet no it is so dangerous this is why fda fda is uh yeah you see fda uh here here what was yeah it restricted use of nmn or and others uh, this uh, uh, vitamin 3 in large doses if they restricted for good reason because people were dying and not only uh, in this, but also I will talk about the weight a little bit. So it's uh, further, but it, it is some people were dying. If you not in ketogenic diet, you have to be very, very careful. So let's go through again. Uh, the book Niacin, the real story by Abram Hofer. Uh, he passed away at age of 92. 
provides further evidence supporting health improvements and extending lifespan in patients treated with niacin and ascorbic acid in mega doses and following gluten-free diet with no dairy products and added sugar. Okay, dairy products, if they have lactose, then of course they provide uh, carbohydrates and added sugar. So it is like not exactly ketogenic diet, uh, gluten-free diet, it is not consuming bread. So it is kind of compromise between uh, standard diet and uh, ketogenic diet. But okay, he, it, it was smart move, smart move. So he suggested that, um, uh, Abram Hofer suggested that niacin boosts uh, levels of NAD plus in immune cells such as macrophages uh, and natural killer cells and uh, which burn amino acids in aerobic conditions uh, and unlike cancer cells that use glycolysis. Okay, you see? Uh, selectivity of uh, niacin. Niacin, uh, first it is providing more oxygen uh, because uh, the duration of the blood vessels and it is boosting NAD plus level in both in both uh, in, uh, uh, in the malignant cells and the immune cells but immune cells uh, they use uh, amino acids in aerobic conditions and if NA is suppressing suppressing for a while uh, consumption of uh, this free fatty acids and after you see after five six hours it is uh, the uh, con uh, concentration of uh, of the carbohydrates in, in blood is dropping so it is working it is working as synolytic so it's good good but again you have to it is suppressing killing cancer cells so mega doses of ascorbic acid do not harm immune cells but inhibit glycolysis and cancerous senescent and virus infected cells. So this combination is in synergy. So in many cases the development of tumors was prevented in cancer patients with mega doses of ascorbic acid and niacin MI and niacin. Especially in I would I would say especially if people follow ketogenic diet. Oh carnivore diet is the best version of the ketogenic diet. Abram Hofer used NAM instead of NA for people who cannot tolerate side effects uh, of NA. Yeah, it's again, if you do it slowly, you can, uh, in, in, over time, you can be already, uh, you can tolerate higher doses. Uh, I started from 100 uh, milligram of niacin, uh, niacin to take in. So now uh, it's no problem. I see no problem if I take two, three gram, no problem or even more. Maximum dose of uh, niacin in mind uh, is 18 gram per day. So it's again, it's not toxic, but you have to be very careful about this. So the book also discusses the practice of combining of niacin, five, seven gram a day with sauna exposure for de detoxication. So there is such practice against sauna or aerobic exercises. It, it works synergistically. So it's Abraham Hofer in 2009, he passed away. So, but he was a yeah, very, very good idea. I recommend this, uh, this book, to, to, to read this book. Next, the Hollywood actor Tom Cruise. Uh, he he was born in 1972, oh, pardon, 1962. He is uh, five years younger than me. He promotes the purification rundown. This is a detoxification program with intake of niacin, in, uh, and this uh, 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 this program was invented by Hubbard. Uh, uh, Hubbard uh, put uh, forward his ideas about niacin in a book called All About Radiation. So it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's not scientific book, but okay, you can read it. At least there is some ma much nonsense so in, about this, but but yet again, mind that uh, this large doses of niacin were uh, promoted and were recommended. The program combines aerobic exercise, dietary supplements, and long stay in sauna up to five hours a day for five weeks. Okay, so you see, so. This is how it works. If you stay a long time, five hours, you have this uh, 
uh, time when uh, glucose level in uh, your blood is very low and uh, so it's in the, so it niacin um, then work as uh, as uh, uh, anti-agent uh, sub supplement so only in combination with sauna or aerobics exercise but yet there is a problem so supplements uh, also include a blend of vegetable oils in the belief that uh, oil will replace the fat saturated with toxins in, in the body of patients. Okay, why vegetable oils? Okay, this again, people don't understand science. But at least you see the idea. A summary of this program was presented in the book uh, Clear Body, Clear Mind, uh, where it, it is recommended uh, that participant Participants maintain the normal diet, normal diet again, the pro problem with it. normal diet is uh, use of carbohydrates and this is very, very dangerous. So a normal diet supplemented with fresh vegetables again, um, big mistakes throughout this, the, the procedure. The cost of the program in 2009 was $5,200. And toxicity of large doses of niacin uh, made lead to liver failure and death in some patients, uh, participants. It was, some people died, because again, you if you follow this protocol, you're in big danger, okay? So, mind that niacin is very powerful too, but if you, you have to use it properly. Uh, not in combination with vegetable oils, not in combination with carbohydrates or vegetables or uh, this, um, vegetarian diet so the program because of this uh, de some people died and the, the program is under heavy criti criticism and prohibited in some countries yeah yeah so it is consequence people die if you do it without uh, understanding how, uh, how the mechanism works you can damage your body you can die the same like doctor so passed away, 69, incredible. Okay. Uh, okay, this is Tom Cruise, he's 50 years old, now he is uh, about 62, and he ha has a lot of energy, so he, he, he's doing well. He <clears throat> practiced this uh, procedure quite well. I don't know about his diet, and, but I know something else what he's doing also very very good I will discuss it maybe later uh, because again uh, anti-aging works for him even if it is not perfect what he is using it works for him not many people in the age of 62 uh, look like uh, Tom Cruise and have so much energy like Tom Cruise uh, now what else a low lymphocyte level in the blood may indicate aging of the hematopoietic stem cells uh, pool in, in this in the stem cells in bone bone marrow. Uh, then uh, this uh, hematopoietic stem cells pool uh, lose their ability to stay in quint, uh, quiescence and regenerate immune cells over time. Okay, this is some scientific. Uh, Terms, but okay. Anyway, you can read uh, publications. And the loss of autophagy and mitophagy in aged stem cells impairs the regenerative potential. Autophagy becomes more cr crucial with age to preserve the regenerative capacity of these uh, hematopoietic stem cells. So again, you can read it. Research shows that uh, pharmacological inactivating uh, SD38, uh, this is a pro-inflammatory uh, substance, uh, and this is enzyme, uh, NAD plus dependent enzyme, can reverse aging of this uh, stem cells and improve the function uh, of uh, this uh, function of the immune, immune cells in aged mice. Okay, so. Therefore, supplements for increasing NAD may help in uh, the elderly function, uh, elderly uh, uh, function of this uh, stem stem cells function better, and indeed restoring NAD plus levels in old or diseased animals promotes health health and extends lifespan. What is again important? If it is done properly, it it extends lifespan. 
NMN supplementation at 220-900 mg a day has been shown to significantly increase blood concentration of NAD+. So, okay, there is some, of course, benefits of taking NAD plus supplements or NMN supplements, but Again, combination of niacin and ni 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 niacinamide uh, is better, better than NMN. NMN is unstable anyway. I was I was taking NMN uh, uh, before, and uh, there was there was some impact when I was on ketogenic diet. Yeah, it was working, but again uh, later on I discovered that uh, other this uh, niacin and uh, Niacinamide work, but I, then I, I use niacinamide because it is very cheap and very easy available instead of NMN. NMN just and the, the benefits were exactly the same. And later on, I got uh, niacin and started from 200, 100, 200 milligram and increased over time this, this supplements and again much better, much better than NMN. Why to pay money and so that this David Sinclair will get money? And, but if you follow his advice, and you you may uh, you may accelerate your aging, or you may live shorter. Okay, so this is what is happening. It's about uh, how niacin is blocking for a while. If you take niacin, it is blocking uh, production of free fatty acids by uh, in fat cells. For a while, not for long, for a while. And also it is blocking uh, the uh, transport of uh, high density lipoprotein to fat. So concentration of high, high HDL in blood increasing. It is considered as beneficial. But okay, but it, it works only for a while. And then it, it is production of free fatty acids increasing. But it has to be combined with ketogenic diet. Okay, you can go to the source of information, make your own research. This is a very important uh, subject, very not easy and very complicated, again, very dangerous if you will not do it properly, but very powerful also as anti-aging, uh, as for anti-aging impact if you do it properly. Okay. Uh, so, and some people were again uh, asking me, who have these uh, side effects from niacin? Because again, if you take it without betaine and without uh, TMG, uh, trimethylglycine and uh, the betaine, it is it is dangerous. Dangerous. You can damage your liver, and it definitely may may may, may happen. Betaine is cheap as well, both so you can buy it. Mind that to take at least twice more betaine uh, than. Uh, niacin or niacinamide. Okay, then, okay, this, that's all. That's all. Uh, as always, I, if you want to support my research, uh, the minimum what you can do, you, you may uh, subscribe to my channel, um, make a like uh, and press like and bell button to uh, also spread this information among your uh, relatives and friends or you can contact me and uh, then uh, support me even more in participate in this project because it's quite interesting project i believe that again we uh, as mammals can live up to thousand years the only it is not easy but possible okay so i work on it so you can uh, join me in this project okay have a good time have a good day. Ciao, ciao. Thank you for your time.